EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the San Francisco 49ers and the Green Bay Packers. The veteran kicker, Robbie Gold, set to get us started. And off we go from Lambeau. He will return this from deep in the end zone. Well, now how about this return? And look at this. Right away, a loose football. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Well, obviously, you never want to fumble, but if you do, good to be towards the sideline and saves them the possession. Saves the embarrassment, saves it going down on the play sheet as a turnover. But I still think it should go to the defense, even if they don't recover it. If you give up the football, you gave up the football. Eh, uh, agree to disagree, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell what I played? Yeah, you played defense. Yeah. I'll, I'll let you a, go. I took a shot. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. So a little tardy getting everyone set, and the clock hits zero before they could snap it. Yeah, you can take your time and use the clock and try and get set up, but once it gets near five seconds, that's when you often hear a quarterback yelling, hurry, hurry, to make sure everybody's ready to get the snap off. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. That'll be complete to Dillon. They'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. 16 more on that one and another first down. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far... Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the former first-rounder, Jimmy Ward. And the 49ers are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. That right there is the inauspicious start that they were hoping to avoid the turnover on the first possession. I love how you use those college-bound words like that, inauspicious. Well done. I really appreciate that. Thank but here's the thing for me. I'm just wondering if their game plan is incorrect. You know, I think they felt like they could come in and throw it around pretty well. That interception early, they may rethink how they go about attacking. And partner, they're locked in man coverage out left and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. And he's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field. And that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. There's Purdy on first and 10. Oh, he'll look downfield for Kittle. It's caught at the 10. Touchdown, 49ers. Boy, just zero hesitation from the rookie passer there, partner. He is coming out firing in this opening quarter. And all the talk leading into this game was that pass rush talking about challenging this guy, getting into his grill, getting into his space. And how about him? Might be his first year in the NFL, but I don't see any fear in him at all. How about that big time throw right out of the gate? After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. About set to get this drive started, the Green Bay offense at the line. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in. Every he rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Talanoa Hufanga. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Gold to add the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. 
So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They find themselves in a good size hole here and a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. He was taken down at the 22 yard line. A gain of two. Again, it's Dillon. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. On play action, now Rodgers. Looking deep downfield. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They're definitely going to have to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that will move the ball downfield. Laundry on the field. This is going to be a false start on the offense. Sometimes you have to slow things down a little bit when things get heated. The cadence has to be slow and deliberate at times to make sure your team's ready to go. Chunk, 17 yards there on fourth down. Rodgers throw complete here on target to Tunyon. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Rodgers now on first down. Binds, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. The Nick Bosa so quick on the outside, he gets in there to bring him down. After the sack on first down, Rodgers, and that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. No partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Open man, here is Cobb. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 41-yard line. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Throwing now is Rodgers. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. 
Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why they've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Throwing is Rodgers on third down. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Back-to-back -back incompletions of what was once a nice drive. Stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards. And they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. Rodgers going to go on fourth down. Got a man, it's Tunyon. Down inside the 10. Touchdown, Packers! Robert Tunyon, 40 yards. And the Packers' decision to go for it pays off with six points. They'll try and run it here. And he will get into the end zone. The two-point conversion will cut this down to a six-point game. the touchdown. Here's Crosby to kick it away. From the six. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive. And now look at this, big gain, but a fumble. And the Packers pick it up. And some room to work. And he will bring this one back. A fumble return for a Green Bay touchdown. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. And this is up and good to put him up by a point. It's 15-14. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. From the six. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. First down, it's Purdy. Dancing to his left. And the defense loses him. It's complete. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. What a play that turns out to be. 36 yards. On first down, Purdy. Oh, that's in the double coverage. It intercepted. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks it. And the Packers are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure, but backed off, and it proved fruitful. They get the pick. He went through all those rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage, and then they fooled him by dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast, but guess what? Too many defenders out there, exactly as you described, an interception. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. They run once more with Dillon. And once again, not much running room, if any at all. Two runs for a net gain of nothing. Now here's third and 10. On third down, here's Dillon. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively, and it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times, and what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. Throwing right, and that's complete. 
Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. That pickup goes for 25. What a flip of the script from fourth down to first. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Looking to throw again on second down. Rodgers, a throw complete to the tight end, Tunyon. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 23. On first down, Rodgers. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. A gain of eight there on the play. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Rodgers with a give, it's Aaron Jones. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. They'll try and run for it with Jones. Trying to barrel up in there, but I don't think he got it. This defense not budging back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. Remember, that was less than a yard. That was not a full yard. That defense, they were having none of it. Yeah, the surge the offensive line was seeking actually occurred on the other side of the ball. They reestablished the line of scrimmage and stuffed them. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together and maybe get in the field goal range. And that's caught inside the 35. And he's going to be shoved out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A big play there just before halftime. 73 yards. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. And all it will be intercepted. Rasul Douglas picks it. And the Packers are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. Well, I would guess it combined, if you spoke to both defenses, neither side has a lot to celebrate today. They haven't had a lot of stops, but that one right there, that's a big one because they stole points away with that play. And just as importantly, picked up a key stop on an offense that's been really impressive here in the early going. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Now Rodgers. He'll check this down complete to Dillon. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game at Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. He'll dump this down to Dillon. That's complete. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? 
And they extend their lead. A little added cushion into the Lockers. What a way to finish. Tremendous way. That's momentum that they carry in with them. Can they convert it and bring it back out to stop the third quarter? Crosby connects on the extra point. And the lead is up to eight. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The 49ers going to have the football and trailing on the scoreboard as we get back underway on EA Sports. Take it in at the three. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. They'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. From just shy of midfield, Purdy. Big gain, but a fumble. And the Packers pick it up. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S. Ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you get defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Rodgers. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Samson Abukum. What a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. I'm sure a lot of time was spent in the locker room, Charles, with talking with his defense about setting a tone here in the third quarter when you're down on the scoreboard. A sack like that, maybe that can get him going. Yeah, you have to believe exactly what you just said. And they got together and said, let's be some change agents here. Let's go ahead and turn things around. Let's be the force that gets us going here in the second half and puts us in a position to find a way to win the game. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Rodgers going to throw. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Nick Bosa picks up his second sack of the afternoon. And keep in mind, in addition to the two sacks that he now has, CD, he's also had a couple of quarterback hurries. He's been very disruptive. To put it mildly, and it reminds me of the time I asked an offensive tackle who struggled like this in a game. He said he was telling the coach, hey, what do you want me to do? This guy's just eating me alive. And the coach finally just looked at him and said, applaud. It's just a 30-yard punt that time, no return. And the Niners are going offense, first and 10. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to, how did either play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and try to change things up. Let's see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. 
Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. Got his target, Samuel. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Jennings. Touchdown, 49ers. Juwan Jennings from 17 yards out. And the 49ers are back within a couple of the lead. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch in a completion of the play? Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. That's cool. And he'll get into the end zone, and those two points are going to tie the game. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. About set to get this drive started, the Green Bay offense at the line. We got a brand new ball game all even after that last touchdown, so every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. Credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine. Final minute now of the third quarter. And here's Jones again on second down. And not much doing there, maybe a yard up to the 23. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Now Rodgers. He finds Watson complete. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So back now at Lambeau. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. To throw is Rodgers. They go screen with Dillon. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. 12 more yards there and another first down. Well, partner, they've used him quite well out of the backfield in this one. And here's another nice example. They set up the screen, and he's able to pick his way downfield for a nice game there. Rodgers now on first down. It's Dillon again. No gain on the play. And that'll bring up second down. Rodgers again now. Over the middle, it's complete. He's got room at the 30. It's a big play there for Green Bay. 47 yards. to throw, it's Rodgers. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. It's second and goal, but now all the way back at the 14. Another try after the first down sack. Rodgers, and it's a Packers touchdown! Robert Tunyon, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Packers answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Extra point up and good by Crosby. And they will take a seven-point lead. And that flag accepted. So here we go, the Packers will line up to go for two.
Rodgers will throw for it. And this one's caught. Yeah. Oh, fourth quarter lead goes back on the ball. The penalty got half the distance to go down the run made that try a little easier. Yeah, without a doubt, that opens up your playbook, doesn't it? From the one yard line, run, pass, do whatever you want there. And they did it successfully. And the 49er hands team does its job. The risk reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play. And here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them. And field position leads you to that type of play calling. And whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. And this is caught. Touchdown, George Kittle with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the 49ers have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. And what a throw that was, Charles. You think about the situation, close game, fourth quarter, rookie quarterback, he doesn't seem phase one bit. So much for bright lights, big city, and will he wilt? Not at all. The stage not too big, the moment not too big at all. They needed points on that series, and not only did he produce a touchdown drive, but how about finishing it off with a big play that only adds to the momentum that they've already established. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Dre Greenlaw in there on the tackle. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. The tight end in motion right. From just shy of midfield, Rodgers. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. After what they faced during this game, where they've given up a ton of yards downfield, that has to be a measure of revenge right there for the secondary. They've been shredded throughout the game and finally forced an incompletion. Here's Rodgers to throw. Over the middle here, it's hauled in by Watson. A big play that time on the catch and run. 35 yards. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They've got it first and 10 as they search for a go-ahead score. the middle, Jones. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Rodgers going to give this one to Dillon. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Call it a gain of 5 that time, and they'll be left with a third and about 4. Now, what's the thinking here? Because a touchdown would be nice, but you've ensured yourself a chance at 3 in the lead, so how worried are you about the 6? You're not very worried about if you're confident in your kicker. And if you got a kicker who can put it through the post, you feel really good about trying to bleed that clock down. And in an ideal scenario, your kicker puts it through the post as the clock hits zeros. Back to throw, Rodgers. And that is incomplete. And I know they would have loved to have had a touchdown there to give them some cushion. But now, kick the field goal. Get the lead. Let your defense bring you home. Show some faith in those guys on the other side of the ball. The kick by Crosby is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, some time to reset here. It's a huge kick.
kick there gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop if they're going to get out of here with a victory. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner. Knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call through the offensive coordinator. You like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. Well, a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. 